Hey everyone, this is Curb Knife. Finally, bring you another match. Uh, today we actually have uh, two lesser seen decks. Um, on the left, we do actually have Green on being piloted by Jesse, who has never actually touched the deck before in his life. Uh, and on the right, we actually have um, Joshua playing, not not the Joshua on my team, another Joshua um, playing the uh, Viamance Bruce, the new deck from Set Nine. So we're gonna be starting off with a pretty. Uh, vanilla turn, uh, just hitting into a draw trigger there, swinging and passing. Um, and as you're going to notice, um, there is a soul counter up there, uh, which we have seen once before in one of my videos when we saw a Barrow match. Um, and Greedon is a deck that somewhat cares about the number of cards in your soul. Not a ton, but um, not as much as Barrow, but you know, uh, I figured I'd just do that. Um, and you're also going to see a quite a few new things that I've added to the video um, kind of to justify the reason why it's been taking me so long to upload a new video um, but m actually these uh, the new things that you're gonna be seeing are honestly more for my benefit than they are uh, for the benefit of the video just to make my life easier uh, but hopefully you guys appreciate uh, the work I've put into this video anyways running into that grade two we are going to be revealing that read on from the ride deck to just draw a card swinging and passing uh, looks like we're going to be getting nothing on that drive check, um, damage checking nothing as well. Uh, moving back over to the Viaman Brutes. Gonna be actually discarding, probably, <laughs> the Mabel, which is the triple drive enabler for the deck. Um, honestly, I feel like Viaman's Brutes is so bad because you have to just rely on all these Diablos cards. Um, I mean, it's cool that you you actually have a reason to play Mabel, who's never really had a real reason to exist. Um, I know some people like teched her in and like, what is it, set two or set three? Um, but honestly, uh, there wasn't ever really a reason to play it other than now. Um, so we'll have to see what the future Diablos uh, support kind of looks like. Um, to see if this deck actually becomes viable in the future. Anyways, we are going to be seeing that new card from set, um, what is it, set 9. Uh, going to be counter blasting 1 to soul charge 1 and then call something from the soul, which is going to be that Lenard that we actually soul charge off the ride line. Um, and thanks to the Viamance Bruce, we are actually going to be at uh, final rush, meaning that Lenard is going to be swinging for a uh, 15. Um, excuse Jesse being there, uh, being kind of dumb there, guarding with a 5k that technically should have hit. Um, but we probably just forgot about the extra 5k. Um, not really going to matter too, too much as we're going to be seeing um, Bruce hitting a double um, trigger there, a heal and a crit. Damage check is going to be a PG and a heal. So we are going to be swinging uh, 30k at the 20k. So this is going to be a 15k guard. Um, do note that this grade 2 only gets plus 10k uh, if you're in final burst, and you don't actually final burst unless your opponent is also at grade 3. Um, you just get final rush on your first grade 3 turn. Um, so going to be riding into that greed on sliding a card from the hand into the soul um, to search out another copy of the grade 2 uh, from the right line and just add it to the hand, obviously. Um, so this is gonna be the first greed on turn. Uh, probably just gonna be calling down a full board uh, full of things that we wanna have in the soul, things we don't really care about. Uh, we see the Bubetsu as well as the grade two. Grade two, definitely something you want in the soul. Bubetsu, something there to just kind of enable that uh, more a rear guard attacks. Um, we have the triple drive enabler um, as well as the rabbit that can uh, bind another copy of it from the soul in order to call a, a, a second copy from the soul when your vanguard attacks. Um, but of course this Greedon is only going to be swinging at 13 um, because we don't really have any power buffs. We don't really, we're not at limit break yet. So we don't really get anything. Drive checking a Persona Ride there, which is definitely pretty good. Um, obviously that two to pass was honestly too good to pass up. But as we are going to be seeing here, it is going to be um, a little a little annoying that we actually ended up doing that. Um, but anyways, we're going to be proccing some skills. The skill of that uh, lizard guy is going to counter blast two to give Greedon an extra drive. And then the skill of the little alligator guy that we saw there um, going into the soul. Um, it actually gets to counter charge one since you have not counter charged at all this turn. Um, so effectively, you're getting triple drive for a counter blast one. Uh, going to be swinging yet again another 13. Um, actually opting to attack the rear guard this time, which is definitely not a bad play in the least because um, even the, he, uh, the Bruce player is at one damage and we don't have any open CB 
and of course Viaman Spruce is a card that requires at least one CB to restand um, a rear guard column. Uh, we're going to be seeing a critical trigger check there. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but I think the damage denial is actually very good in this situation because it kind of means that this uh, Bruce turn is going to be pretty vanilla. There isn't really much we will be able to do outside of maybe like hitting with Lenard, calling something out, and attacking again since um, uh, assuming we don't fill up our board. Um, but of course we are starting off with a Persona Ride, so there is the potential to at least hit big numbers and do some uh, threatening swings. Uh, maybe hope for a crit on the Vanguard. Unfortunately, we can't use the Mabel either because Mabel does actually cost a Counter Blast as well. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Looks like we are calling out that Grade 1, which is basically just a 13k booster uh, when you're in Final Rush. Um, we are actually going to be getting the Final Burst this turn. Um, but since we did kill that grade 2 last turn, uh, we're not going to have that 30k beater. Um, but going into that battle phase, swinging with the Bruce first makes sense. Uh, you want to be able to stack triggers since you won't be able to actually... Um what was I want to try and say? Uh, Restand. Um, so going to be swinging, hitting into a blank check there. Um, this Nard is going to be swinging uh, with a total of plus 30k. So that's going to be a 48 attack. Um, and I think we guarded it with two 15s, which would have been 43, which is um, yet another misplay from uh, Jesse, not uh, realizing the amount of power that column actually has. Or in all honesty, we probably just miscounted and didn't get the right number. But obviously, we are going to be starting off with a Persona Ride, uh, just putting the plus 10k on the Vanguard, because even though those other rear guards are getting an extra 10k, uh, let's be honest, they're probably not going to be sticking around for very long. Uh, anyways, calling another Bubetsu, um, as well as calling those two little rabbit promos, and then the grade 2 guy. Um, swinging under the persona ride as well as being at limit break two is actually going to enable us to be swinging for 33 um obviously going to be taking it because uh, we need that damage we're honestly hoping maybe for a crit hopefully on the second check to give us a little bit more damage although at this point if you just take the two damage that's pretty good um i will note that the soul count here is one off i forgot to account for the persona ride um so the soul cards should actually be at seven right now um, going up to nine. Um, so it doesn't make a huge difference as we're going to be seeing um, because we don't hit the 10, which is the main requirement for the greed on. I'm um, going to be swinging for a 33 again, even though we got a trigger um, because it was a heal trigger. We actually healed out of limit break. Uh, so we lose the extra uh, 10K from the two copies of the grade two in the soul. Um, so not checking anything there other than a PG. Um, so actually just going to be pushing the Bruce to three, giving him two open CB to play with. And we do have to kind of see what we want to actually do in this. And we are actually going to be calling out that counter charger um, who should not be getting plus 15 yet. Um, he gets plus 15 when you go into final burst, as we're going to be seeing here. Um, he gets an extra 5k when you soul blast two to counter charge uh, at the instant that you final burst, which is at the start of the battle phase. Um, yeah, there we go. Now it's at plus 15, how it should be. Um, and then obviously the Lenard column is getting an extra 5k to each of those because you are in Final Rush. Uh, Going to be swinging that Counter Charger for a nice 36 in total because that booster is just an 8k booster and it's boosting a grade 2 or grade 2, grade 3. Um, and then we are actually going to be able to proc the skill of the grade one, which is when the attack hits, you can actually counter blast one and then put the thing it boosted uh, on the bottom of the deck to draw one card. And then you actually um, give an extra 5k to one of your other units. So it's going to be going to that Lenard, uh, which is probably, which is pretty good since this Lenard column is probably going to be the one that's going to be restanding because as you can see, it is already at plus 25. Uh, I'm going to be swinging at the Vanguard for a nice 43, which is definitely not really um, worthy of guarding uh, just because, you know, that's a really big number. That's, what is that? 35k shield, might as well just take it. Even though um, because we let the grade one boosted hit, we do actually have that open column, meaning that Lenard can actually um, soul charge one and call that thing out. The grade two uh, double rare that we saw last turn. Um, now that we are in final burst, uh, as you can see, it is getting an extra 10k there. 
Um, so it is a 20k base at the moment. Uh, Vanguard is going to be swinging using both the skill of the uh, Bruce as well as the Mabel, um, giving the Bruce a triple drive, and then the skill of Bruce restanding the column and giving it an extra 5k to both of the units that were stood. Uh, so going to be drive checking PG, second check nothing, and third check nothing in Eden. Um, so even though that was a 40k swing, we did just PG it. Um, although we are at what is that five five damage so we do need two more to die because we did get the greed on in the soul last turn thanks to the persona ride uh so probably we're gonna swing with the 30k uh we are at 23 thanks to that defensive trigger that we saw earlier so this is just going to be a 10k guard whereas that other swing is going to be uh much more massive a 58 i believe uh gonna be guarding with a 15 no actually taking it back um interestingly enough um probably just calculating the number which um if you do all the calculations you can probably tell it is just way too big even with a defensive uh trigger there so honestly we just need a 10k to block this attack um but we're dropping a 15 and looks like even though that's enough we're going to be dropping another 15 you know just to be sure um that that 15 that that 30k is um good enough as we're going to see this lenard is swinging for a 53 actually forgetting to mandatory soul charge with a lenard even though you can't actually call anything um but you know it is what it is but in all honesty jesse just probably completely forgot about the fact that he got a defensive trigger um can you blame him that's what happens when you play greed on you kind of lose brain cells um not that he has too many to, to start with but Anyways, getting into the greed on turn, uh, gonna be calling out a second Bubetsu as well as a critical trigger um, out there to the right, and probably just deciding on what we want that fourth or fifth rear guard to be. We are running a little low on cards in hand. Um, with nine cards in the soul, we will actually be getting that extra 15k um, hitting that 10 soul during this uh, during this next swing. Um, because even though we do soul blast the two, we do get four plus four two soul. Uh, kind of just deciding what we want to actually do here. So looks like we have two of that grade two guy and then a PG. Um, I don't really know what's taking Jesse so long. You have like two options. <laughs> so you kind of just pick one. You do need four cards on board to actually, um, you know, restand the greed on. So might as well just call something. I guess the, the thing we're thinking about, um, as we're going to see the PG called out, um, is if you want to keep one or both of those. Um, but I think you do just keep one just because you can actually call one for the Bibetsu and go for the second restand um, because that is kind of your enabler. And we do actually have the um, the rabbits that we put in there from the last couple of turns, which will be able to be procced, uh, meaning that you can get at least another unit. Um, but we are actually going to be seeing over trigger triggered here, um, obviously giving the 100 million to the Vanguard, um, and then hitting a heal trigger. Uh, so healing down to, I believe that's five or six, I think it's five, um, actually hitting our own defensive OT. Um, so meaning that we do actually have to, we can actually still hit and we actually can still guard. Um, although the number as we're going to be seeing is actually still very, very big uh, because we did get the over trigger, which gives an extra 10 K. Um, the greed on skill is going to get an extra 5 K. And then we did get a heal trigger, which is obviously going to the greed on, um, and giving it another 5 K. So we're actually just proccing the Bubetsu skill here to counter blast one. And then using the skill of that guy, I think his name is Muka or Mika or something like that. Um, using its skill to counter blast one and then, um, soul blast one. <laughs> oh, we're using the skill of the first Bubetsu, the Bubetsu that went into the soul. Um, and then we're activating the skill of the second Bubetsu, counterblasting another card in order to call the, um, as we saw, the critical trigger from hand. Um, and looks like we are thinking on what the call target is. Oh, and almost forgetting to draw the two cards off the Bubetsu because we do have the 10 cards in soul, as you can see with the counter, uh, which should be 11. Um, and then using the skill of that grade two, which is going to counter blast two, uh, soul blast or counter blast two, counter blast one, soul blast two, in order to actually call another card from soul, uh, which is going to be that Bubetsu that went in before, uh, meaning that it is technically live on this next swing. We're going to be swinging for that 100 million 48 to the 13. Um, so technically you could guard this, 
um, but it is, once again, it is a very big number and it is at double critical. Um, so probably just gonna do the safe play and just PG it. Um, I'm gonna be checking a Greedon and then another grade two. And then obviously now we do have those four rear guards uh, that are still standing. Um, so we can actually put them into the soul and actually restand the Greedon once again. Actually having going to be having another 10 cards in the soul, meaning we are going to be getting yet another 15k uh, to the Vanguard uh, using the double Babetsu skills to actually call out two more rear guards. Um, not really a huge reason to um, because, you know, they're not really going to be relevant because the Vanguard is at 100 million. Uh, but obviously proccing the skill of those two little rabbit dudes, the promos, um, since the Greedon is attacking, you can actually bind another copy of it and call it out from the soul. So in this situation, we do actually have four standing rear guards. So we can actually go for the fabled um, third Greedon restand. Uh, but of course, we are going to be deck... Uh, having a very low amount of cards in deck. I believe at this point we have just one card left in deck. Um, so that is just going to be the end of the game um, as we're gonna be seeing last card there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the new things that I added to the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and do all those YouTube things and I'll see you guys in the next one.